Hey, what's up guys? I regret wearing this shirt and sweater. It's hot. It's Halloween. So, so almost soon. It's approaching. God, here I go with the whole, watch my last video and I said this exact same thing, which I didn't record just a little bit ago and change the shirt. This is a Freddy Krueger shirt, which it could also work for Christmas because it's red and green. This is a very tight fitting shirt. I don't have like a hat or any. Yes, I do. Although he doesn't wear. Could you imagine Freddy Krueger just like rocking a snapback just during the move? It's, this is look good. This is going to be hot too. I kind of, look at that. kind of, I'm getting way off topic. We're going to swap these. We'll do skit. God damn it. We're gonna. I'm gonna take a quiz to see if I would survive a horror film. Cause everybody wants to know. You watch it in a scary movie, and you're just like, don't, don't go there. That's where his knife is, and then you die and you get stabbed because of knife. So yeah, take this quiz to see if you'd survive a horror film. It's not as easy as you think. Well, granted, knowing, but damn it, Kelsey. Okay, what scares you the most? Ooh. Okay, I gotta think. So, bunch of clowns coming at me. Yeah, super scary. Bunch of spiders on me. Yeah. Bunch of snakes. Oh. Uh, okay. I could stand on heights and not die, but a bunch of clowns, they could probably kill me and stab me. Spiders. Oh, boy. Ah, let's just... It, they're, they're, they're people. You don't know. They don't have to be clowns, you're just a bunch of people coming after me. Okay, you're hiding in a closet while a murderer is trying to find you. What do you do? You stay quiet and in the closet. You yell for help. Try to... Oh, we're gonna go with that just because of Halloween. That's right, I know my films. What's the... Wow, who's the most notorious horror villain? Oh, <gasps> dude, I just said that! Mm, it's one of you two. A lot of people do the hockey mask and the... Ch -ch -ch. <laughs> Freddy Krueger, you're not... You're not that iconic. This is tricky. But I'm gonna just go with my- Well, at the moment, it's Pennywise. Can I change it? I can. Mm, I don't know about that. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! That's a- It's a- That's an opinion. So I'll just- Yeah. Michael. <sighs> so stressful. Which classic horror movie is the best? Oh, now here we go. Halloween. Okay. Pick your favorite Halloween candy. Uh, Reese's. Which doll would you rather have your parents surprise you with? Uh, Chucky. You almost made it. You thought you had survived the worst of it, but an unexpected twist led to your fate. <laughs> cool. So as 90% of my videos go that involve a BuzzFeed quiz, I think the quiz is stupid and I immediately take a better one. So here we go. Find out how long you get the, find out how long you'd survive in a horror movie. Not if I would, but just how long. See, this quiz is already so much better. Life is scary. We live in a world where Tyler takes a bunch of dumb quizzes. You're home alone late at night, and suddenly there's a noise. It sounds like someone is in your house. What do you do? Grab a baseball bat and get ready for the worst. Sneak around quietly and peek in every room. Meek the go, hello. Lock yourself in the closet and wait it out. Sleep it off. Um, is there a way to text 911? Suddenly there's a noise. Yeah, you try to peek around in every room. Or the baseball bat thing will work. We'll just go with that. But you're kind of waiting. Whereas this gets ya. Yeah, I may not survive a horror movie. Okay. You just sent a racy text message to your partner. Wait, not your partner. It got sent to your parent by mistake. What's next? What is? What does this have to do? Um, sorry, wrong daddy. <laughs> I don't know. I'll just text back. Sorry, that's just funny. I, I don't know if I'd do that, but it's funny. So it's getting my vote. Hey, look, it's a casual ghost at the foot of your bed. Kind of scary, right? What do you do? What the hell? Um, tell it to go away. Go away! That was my best. 
Sean asked, I completely forgot his name. Sean Aston from Stranger Things impression. You've lost an unfamiliar city late at night. Your phone is dead, there's no way around. Where do you go get to be, why can't I read that? Where do you go to get your bearings and ask for directions? Oh, okay. I've done this before. And I went to a gas station. And I'm reading the other ones. You get off of work late and get in your car and you're 100% sure that there's someone in your backseat who shouldn't be there. What's your next move? Yeah, we'll just run out of the car. You, you first you want to get away from there. Because why the fuck would you hit them? Odds are if they're in your car, they know you. Yeah, I'm definitely getting murdered. You're trapped in an elevator 15 stories up with no service. The lights go out. The emergency service button has fallen off. What do you do next? Hypervent... What the fuck? Press all the buttons until something happens. Wait for someone else to get frustrated waiting for the elevator and call maintenance. Well, I would do that first, but then eventually I'd probably do that. So we're just gonna go with the buttons thing. Even though it said the button fell off. Yeah, you, okay, you call maintenance. If you got a phone, yeah, call maintenance. Okay, continue the quiz. Oh, Oprah, what are you... <gasps> that was scary. You're ice skating on a lake when you fall through a crack in the ice and go all the way under. What do you do? i probably die. Oh. Surrender to death. Try to crawl out. Even if it cracks, you have to... Wow. Try to poke a new hole from... I don't know. Yeah. Eventually. Yeah, we got like... I can hold my breath for like 40 seconds. In a panic situation, maybe even less. Maybe more. Hopefully more. You're exploring a nearby abandoned insane asylum with your friends at night. Why? You look around and they're nowhere to be found. What do you do? Question all of your choices that led up to that moment, you dumbass. Get away from me, Oprah. Jesus, you're not even relevant. Start reading case files with my flashlight. Find the exit and get the hell out ASAP. Yo, you guys, where are you? Scream and assume my friends will follow my voice. Hide so you can jump out and scare your friends when they circle back around. They're still here, right? Odds are that's probably it. Sorry. I'm all antsy. It's making me nervous. You're taking a shower. When you get out, there's a threatening sinister message scrawled on your bathroom mirror. You're in a towel, obviously. What's next? What does the message say? Tiptoe out and act like everything's normal. Crawl out the... No one's in the bathroom with me. My bathroom is super small. It's got the shower and then that said mirror and then the door. And a toilet, maybe. Crawl out the window and borrow something. No, there's no window. Bathrooms don't really have windows. Not a lot of them. You clean them. I don't know. Act like everything's normal. And then investigate. Why the fuck is there a message on the mirror? Dumbasses. You're camping when you poke your head out of the... What is this noise? <sighs> You're camping when you poke your head out of the tent and lock eyes with the wild grizzly bear. Quick, what should you do? Damn. I don't know. I don't want to throw... Th I do want to throw things at it and get, get the fuck out. Oh god, you're kayaking in the ocean, realistically, no. Uh, when a sleek, sleek dorsal fin pokes out of the water and starts circling your boat, you're a mile from land, now what? I don't know. I obviously turn to the director and say, do we really need another 47 meters down sequel? 47 meters down, yeah, that's what it is. But now it's 47 meters down, and caged. Have I seen it? Nah. It's unrelated. Um, bop the shark with your, oh boy. Convince yourself it's a dolphin so your brain doesn't break. I think my brain would break, my brain would break, oh, that's a, in trying to convince myself that it is a dolphin. You know it's a shark. That fin, that's a shark. Okay, hold tight and wait for it to swim away. Drop your snacks in the water to distract it. That'll work. No, those are my snacks. I, if it really tries to come close, then yeah, but I just kind of want to go away. Go away! I just, oh, mm -mm. everyone's worst nightmare. You encounter some disastrous turbulence on an airplane and the oxygen masks deploy from the ceiling. What's your next move? Start imagining my funeral. Uh, panic that your bag isn't inflating all the way. Why would they, why would they just throw that in the mix? Uh, put my mask on and yeah. I'm gonna do that part first. How would you rate this quiz? Yeah, it's pretty okay. Show me my Oprah, I swear to God. You're the proverbial final girl, or guy, or person. You do you. 
Sweet, you win. If winning is enduring the trauma that transpires during the course of your average horror movie and potentially your family friends dying in front of you, but sure, you'll take it. What? What the fuck did I just read? Well, I'll take it. Why? You just survived the horror movie. You're the lone survivor. Kind of scary in itself. You bet. That's why the great movie gods have given us sequels, my friend. Share your results so everyone knows exactly how badass you are and exactly how many zombies and serial killers you totally decimate if needed. Well, I needed that today. That's really cool. Um, I completely disagree. I would die. I'm not. I don't know. I would die. I'm not meant to live. Wow. You know what I mean. I don't know if I know what I mean. But I would die. And you guys can too. You just take the quiz. I don't know. Just Google this. Whatever. It's a quiz. It's magicquiz.com. You can tell how hot it is. My cheeks are super red in this. And I'm just, this is just one layer. It's super warm. I got this from Hot Topic like a long time ago. And I've worn it maybe three times. This is probably the third time. Super hot. <sighs> Alright guys, subscribe. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, these are fun. These are fun to do. It's, it's like, it's the month of Halloween. It's October. So, you know, I've just been doing nothing but like, kind of, you know, those themed videos. Even my Skyrim videos. You guys, like this. Look at this. Shit's scary as hell. What the hell is he, is he doing in that door? What's that door doing to him? Some weird stuff. Go watch those videos, man. I've never played Skyrim before. And people seem to enjoy that. Uh, okay, yeah. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up to this video. I'm super awkward. Bye!